Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a twin flame. I'm from Chicago. And I have the conclusion of my video now about the cosmic energies and you and your twin. Um, in my last video, I had an illustration of a piece of ice that represents what's been embedded in us. And I just wanted to mention one thing that I realized I forgot. It's your love for your twin that's melting this or warming it up enough sufficiently for it to be removed. And the sweetness of the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine are both working to take out the frozen pieces of the heart that we've been wounded with. We've all been hurt, we've all been wounded, but when you can't breathe and you can't feel because you know, there's a lot of people that say, my twin's heart seems closed up, He's, he or she is frozen. Um, you know, we've had a lot of uh, things in, just in our regular culture here, we had this movie by Disney called Frozen that showed that it's love that actually takes out the wounds to the heart which here on this planet have actually become physically embedded, solid, hard pieces of things that sometimes are tumors or diseases, um, breast cancer, and uh, these are the things that we're doing. So I just want to say that while you and your twin might seem in two different places at times, even if you're together, because you might be like, what's that person thinking? You know, I don't want to do this or that. I'm going to try and use one of my diagrams here. Your outer etheric body is what's connected to the cosmos. Okay, both of you. You know, but there have been walls of wounds between you. Okay, I hope you can see that well. Okay, so what you're doing is your twins making connections to people, places, and things on earth and in other parts of the cosmos. Your twin has brought their connections with from wherever and so have you. But you're now making these connections at the other levels with your twin. So everything's here is becoming clean and clear and that my friends is exactly what we're looking for because we are talking about love and to quote the song fools give you reasons wise men never try I always try not to give too much explanation just enough to comfort you to help you feel better to help you be patient, to help you trust, to help you know that you're getting all of the help that you actually need, that there are things being done on behalf of your twin by your higher self, things that they maybe couldn't do for themselves, people, situations, things being moved out of the way. When you put your the intention of your heart into it, and you really focus on your twin and you say, but I want my twin to get better. I want my twin to stop thinking about this or doing that behavior. Um, that actually accelerates it. There's a synergistic effect that happens that accelerates people through this stuff. Some people don't even know what hit them. All of a sudden they'll find they get a job offer or something opens up. It's because of that. It's because we actually there's a reciprocal energy between twins where we keep helping each other and you may, may be mirroring each other in different parts of the world or you know different parts of your own town or something but you are doing this together and there is always an eternal connection so you can't ever let each other go you really can't particularly if you've already met your twin you're going to meet them again and again and again 
as all of this stuff keeps clearing out, they're going to keep coming back to you. Keep putting your vibrations back together because you're intended to be in love. The exploring is over for now. For now, it's, it's not over. It's all about coming home, coming home to love. Friday is Valentine's Day. I want you all to focus on being in love, being in love with yourself because your twin is yourself. They're the reflection of you. They're going to seem to have some opposites, but at the core, your core essence is the same. Your soul is the same soul. No matter how close any soulmate feels to you, and believe me, a lot of them are wonderful, fabulous people. If we've had a hard time letting some of them go, they're not the other part of you, and they never can be. They can't ever fill all the things in you or fulfill you. Why? Because you actually have a brand new body that only is enlivened with your twin. You keep each other lively. You keep the fat passion and the fire with each other, not with other people. And these are some of the behaviors that you need to be patient for. There are people that, you know, they'll have their entire solar plexus cleared and yet they'll gird themselves for battle. They'll be all ready, you know, that guy's going to take my parking space and the kids did this and my boss is going to be that. Except it comes the day because this is cleared where those behaviors and those habits start to feel like a script. And then the script feels silly. Like, haven't we done this a million times? I could, I could write a screenplay about this. I'm an award-winning writer. I've analyzed it and thought about it and I know every move in this game. Well, yeah, we do. And we're done. For the most part, we're done with all that old stuff. You know, now, that's when the real detachment comes in, is when you feel amused or even bored with it. And that's when you know you've moved through the cosmic level energies. So please have a wonderful day. Remember, you're here for love. You're here to be the love, and that means being in love. Being in love totally in your heart. And that means moving everything down from your head and up from your sacred into your heart area. So have a great day. And there, I will have more videos, more explanation, but on the next stuff that's coming. Thank you very much. Bye now.